program director, first year students, parents, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to the Nelson Mandela University and more specifically to the Faculty of Business and Economic Sciences. My wish and hope is that your affiliation with the faculty and specifically our new first year students will be a wonderful and enriching experience. Today is a special day for many of us. For some, it might be the first step into the world of university study. And for parents, it is also an important day for you because in some way you'll be handing somebody very special over to a system that you might or might not be familiar with. As is often the case, when one is confronted with change, you may feel a bit uneasy and maybe uncertain about certain decisions and important steps to be taken. Aspects such as the decision to study further, the study field of business, and so on. And even more, this uncertainty may now be exacerbated by the fact that we are currently in this COVID-19 pandemic. And please let me assure you that from our university side and from our faculty side, we have undertaken all the precautions that can possibly be done to be able to ensure a good learning experience for our students, albeit on a platform that might be digital and online for the first part of the year, depending on how the pandemic will develop. Of course, with that said, our staff will always carry the importance and also the well-being of our students and your children at heart. So please be assured that the, co the COVID protocols that we are following will always be to the best interest of everybody concerned. And you can get more of this information also on our websites and um, our staff will share more of this information with you as uh, the time goes on during this evening and also during orientation. So let me come back to some of the other questions that you might have. The whole decision to study further. We must never forget that during the university time period, one of the objectives is to develop effective lifelong learners, where one can broaden one's perspective, develop the aspects of critical thinking, and of course, of course, nurturing self-reflection as an immeasurable quality. Now, throughout these various global crises in its different formats that we have experienced, higher education, of course, will always emphasize the importance of being prepared. Being prepared as an individual, being prepared as a future um, employee or employer even, and also being prepared for the challenges of the future. And this, of course, is even more highlighted by the current pandemic and, of course, the new skill requirements that it brings with us. The, uh, the new ways of interacting with each other. Just think about this uh, evening's engagement. A second reason, of course, for, for possibly studying further can also be the whole aspect of the chances of gaining employment. And we can all be assured of the fact that there is a marked difference between the employment statistics for people with higher education qualifications and those without. We've just seen the recent stats of the unemployment uh, in South Africa, um, and it is quite alarmingly high. And therefore, investing in your future skills and your higher education will bode well for the future. It is also becoming clearer every year that as we are moving into the future, all new jobs are being skewed much more in favor of skilled and educated people. We can just think, for example, of the whole notion of the fourth industrial revolution. And of course, as we are driving our business over the past year, where most of it 
was virtual and online, the skill sets changed completely. A further uncertainty might be the whole notion of, is the field of business and commerce the right one to study in? We have seen a number of reports uh, which focuses on the fact that there will always be a need for graduates in the fields of commerce, economics, management, finance, and accounting. And therefore, studying in the field of commerce will always be a good decision. A further uncertainty might be, of course, studying at Nelson Mandela University, being an institution still young at name. But let me assure you, we've got a exemplary track record from previous universities all becoming Nelson Mandela University in the end. And our programs are designed in such a way that it is in line with all the requirements that you would need in the new place of work. Our programs are regularly reviewed and ensures the relevancy that is required uh, going into the future. So allow me to mention a few examples to demonstrate the status as well as the achievements of our faculty. Our professional programs all enjoy full accreditation by the relevant professional bodies, be it the South African Board for People Practices, the South African Institute for Chartered Accountants, Financial Planning Institute of Southern Africa, and so on. Furthermore, our CA programs have been awarded the highest accreditation rating available from SICA. And our pass rates of our graduates in the national professional qualifying exams consistently exceeds the national pass rates. The achievements of our students are also widely recognized. Our diplomats and graduates play leading roles within the South African community and even beyond our borders. Our faculty is also committed towards playing our role in creating a better and more sustainable future. We want to be seen as best for the world rather than best in the world. And increasingly concepts such as professional ethics and sustainability are integrated into the core of our curricula. Our students are also guided through social entrepreneurship projects and through these outreach initiatives, they are acquire, acquiring valuable competencies and at the same time also making a remarkable contribution to the vulnerable segments in our society. Let me also confirm that we have excellent staff. They are generally recognized as excellent teachers and it shows in student results as well as student feedback. Staff are also making significant contributions through their research and they are frequently recognized for their outstanding achievements in the form of best paper awards at conferences and other um, events. So please feel at ease. You are indeed at a world-class university with a world-class faculty. For the sake of interest, let me give you a sense of our faculty of business and economic sciences. We are big by most standards. We have approximately 10,000 students with a uh, faculty equivalent of about 200 full-time staff members. We are a comprehensive university and therefore we offer the full spectrum of diploma and degree uh, programs in the field of business. And these program range from undergraduate certificates all the way to doctoral degrees. We also operate across mu uh, multiple campuses in the Nelson Mandela Bay Metro. And we also have a campus uh, at George in the Southern Cape. Finally, as with most transactions and interactions, one's experience as a receiver of a service, be it the student or the parent, is often determined by the attitudes and the actions of staff that you interact with. 
So let me assure you of our commitment to provide you with not only a world-class service, but definitely a friendly service and a humanizing experience. And you are, of course, are most welcome to hold us accountable to this commitment. Let me then conclude by saying, being at the university is a privilege to be treasured. In South Africa, only approximately 16% of young people between the ages of 18 and 24 are fortunate enough to be admitted to university study. So jointly, we have the challenge and the responsibility to make the best of this privilege afforded to you. To our new students, the opportunity awaiting you have the potential to take you to a completely different platform. The manner in which you respond to these opportunities will have a major and lasting impact on your lives. Let me give you our unconditional commitment that we as the faculty and the university will do our utmost to help you make a success of this life transforming experience that awaits you. So therefore, welcome to our faculty. We are truly excited to have you as a member of our Nelson Mandela University family. I thank you.